Hi guys, delighted to be in Nottingham and welcome Michael Holt. What was the year shootout? 2020? 2020 shootout think, champion. Yeah. Still a professional, but now a coach. Yes. Thank you very much for having Thank us. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, it's good. I'm trying to get obviously my tour call back. So uh, in the meantime, I'm doing a bit of coaching. It seems to be going all right. Getting some really good feedback, and I'm finding a lot of stuff that I find a bit. Well, you can you can put my game through the, the ringer today. Let's do it. Well, I mean, I haven't got time. Have you? You've got to go in a couple of hours. <laughs> so, <laughs> you can book in for the whole day though. Right. So, <laughs> nice little room, this. Yeah, it's perfect, especially for the coaching. Obviously, need a bit of privacy. Um, my last mass club was, was in the club bit. Yeah. But uh, this, is, this is perfect for that. Yeah. And it's, yeah, it's great. Nice and private. Yes, definitely. And uh, the table plays well as well, so. Are you still consider yourself full time? Uh, well, no, I'm not playing as much as I would like. Uh, obviously, when I was on the tour, playing a lot more. I just coaching a lot at the minute, but I think ultimately I want to get back on. So I need to get my head down a little bit at some point, but the, the Q Tour starts soon. What is the Q Tour? Well, it's like, a, it's like a, the championship. It's, it's, the, it's the level below uh, and, and you can win wild cards to get back on. Right. Um, so that, that's different from the Q School then? Yes, yeah, different. Yeah, the Q School is like an event right at the end of the season where you can win your card. But um, this, the, the Q Tour is, well, it's a tour. So you, there's a few, it's a more of a consist consistency. It will sort of like, it's all right, I didn't see it. It's all right. Consistency is, is the key, obviously. Do you know what? I've never ever done that in a match. My whole career, really, but I've done. I do it in practice sometimes, but, but I've not done it once in a match in a match ever. In you've never been under this kind of pressure before, have you? That's well, I, to be fair, I, I'm, I'm feeling it a little bit. Yeah. I'm a bit yeah. intimidated because you're so, you're a coach now. You're, yeah, I feel, yeah, I feel, so all I'm doing is judging. See, I used to, and used years to go by. I'd be on the yeah, black. Absolutely, would have been. On, I would yeah. be on yeah. the black. Yeah, but you, you know, you'd usually drop this in, wouldn't you? He's always going for. I knew this would be in amongst the camera equipment. I knew my first color would be. This is improvise. Might help. You know, coach this one. But yeah, the Q Tour, um, there's, there's like six, seven events. I'm missing the first one because first one, I'm on my holidays. Right. Um, so I've been on the beach there with a the pina colada. But yeah, there's six events I'm going to go at and I've got to try and get on. And how many um, oh, here we go. How many players are, are in, in each event? Uh, there'll be, a, I think, I don't know, over 100 odd. A lot of ex-pros? A few, a few ex-pros, obviously people that dropped off, people that are trying to get back on. Yeah. Uh, keeping the dream, dream alive, so to speak. Um, so yeah, but you've, you know, it's like it's like at all levels. You just got to win. You got to play well, and, and win matches. Which, obviously, recently I haven't been playing the level I need to play. Um, when, when did you drop off the tour? It was um, uh, well, it was the end of last season. Not last, well, the end of the season before last. Uh, I sort of just missed out. Bit of a tale of woe, you know. I, Obviously, lost match is ultimately my fault, but yeah. you know, a lot of close games, and I don't know, what can you say? Sell so, days, it's what it is. Well, you know, I lost games and I deserve to drop off. So it's up to me to sort of uh, sort that out. But I mean, the thing is, the level's still there, you see. Are you going to wait gloves here? No, I know, it's like... all right. I'm just giving you a bit of start. <laughs> well, you, see, you look really nervous at the start, so I thought I'd just um, let you have a few. Oh, look, here we go. All right, it's not bad. So, yeah. how, so the coaching then? When, when did that start? Have you have you always been like a? Have you always analysed the game? Always, really, absolutely. Uh, well, I'm a thinker, I would never have thought that. Yeah. Well, you look at me play snooker. I mean, look at me play. I'm always thinking. Yeah. It's a curse, to be honest. Right. But um, because of that, I'm always trying to work things out. Right. How does that work? Do you know what I mean? So it makes me actually a decent coach, I think, because I'm sort of thought about it. I'm not just blindly believing. Because I, I I couldn't tell you one thing technically. I've had no. four coaches, I think, in my career, and each time it's like, do I really understand that? Because yeah. a lot of it goes over my head. Well, that's a good thing. Right. But I think for me, you've got to know certain stuff, I think. Right. But there's a lot of the stuff's just a waste of time anyway. Right. You know, knowing where your feet are and your elbows and all that. Right. Okay. Nonsense. Okay. Right. But you've got to hit the wire at a certain spot, yeah. don't you, to pot it. Of course. So you've got to know where the spots are. Yeah. But people haven't got a clue. They're too busy. Like we watched Roddy Sullivan, right? We yeah. When he walks on the table, like he don't care. Yeah. We all know he does. Yeah. And if you know what to look for, he's like a robot. Yeah. Looking at the, you know, he knows what he's doing. Yes. But people are obsessed with him and his cue action. But that's not why he's a great player. He knows how to play. If you watch where he's aiming, how he does it. Yeah. That's what you need to look at. I, think, I mean, at the end of the day, you, you've still got to deliver the cue, haven't you? Obviously. Absolutely. But you'd be surprised how you don't have to be the perfect cueist to be an incredible, you know, a really good player. Well, that was a nice cue. I mean, you have to judge Caston's cans better than that, but <laughs> well, that was I'll, awful. I'll leave it with you. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's, um, for me, it's, it's more benefit if you just know how to play. I'm trying to sort of nudge people towards that. Yeah. 
uh, and I feel like people are making benefits. Right. Uh, but I'm enjoying it because I had, when I first started it, I did, obviously it came COVID and it sort of chopped the touring off. So I thought, you know, I never, I didn't have time before, tremendous. Yeah. Um, I didn't have time to do it before, yeah. but I did then, so I thought oh, I'd try it. And then I started, uh, would I enjoy it? You know, I had this, yeah. that argument with myself. Yeah, because I mean, you have to have, obviously have to have a lot of patience, right? Yes, you which, do. Which in your game, maybe you didn't have, is that fair to say? Uh, I, I don't it, think was it's it, was, it, was, it pa was it patience or was it? It's the more the fact, it's, look, I'm, except you're gonna lose. Yeah. You're gonna lose, aren't you, sneaker player, you know? But it's more the underperforming that I find absolutely heartbreaking. Yeah. and. And because of that, I really still struggle with the underperforming. If I play all right and I get beat, you take it on the chin, you move move away, don't you? And then you live to fight another day. Yeah. But the underperforming, I never felt. Well, when I look at players like you, right? When I'm watching you, you're watching you, and you're winning all the tournaments and yeah. all that, right? Obviously, it's impressive that you're putting all the balls. They're brilliant, but I can do that. Yeah. But the fact that you can go out there in like the biggest stage, yeah, and play like you're in your living room, yeah. Well, that, I mean, that's, that's, the thing with, that's the thing with all sports, isn't it? There's so yeah, many absolutely. talented players in, in all, all sports, but what separates the best from the rest is always absolutely. being able to do it at, at, at the highest yeah. level. At pro level, that's everything, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, with amateurs, they are doing fundamental things wrong. Right. So, obviously, there's other stuff they can work on, but, I mean, if you've got to that pro level, you don't need to sort of... It's, it's not about that. It's about getting your mindset right, isn't it? So what? Because it fascinates me. Because obviously you, you've always been always like super talented. Stop it! You Every shot you definitely got that, didn't you? Yeah, but wait, no. Right. Sting, <laughs> the the sting in the tail. Yeah, yeah. Coming. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Super talented. All, all the shots, yeah. technique, everything. But someone who like what, I, I don't know how many times we played, but I always remember one time we played in Wales. I needed a snooker in the first frame. Right. And I never win frames needing snooker in my yes. career, but I did. Yes, and, 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 and you just went. Really? I knew, I knew I had you, yeah. Would you be fair to say that, that's always that's been a weakness, mentally it's, it's been a weakness. Absolutely. So how, how do you, what happens then? Could you describe what happens oh, in that situation oh, or not? I mean, I didn't come here for this. Anyway, so... Well, right, you, can, uh, you can grill me as much no, as I'm no, grilling. No, you're, you're right, you're right. <laughs> it's more the fact that... I mean, look, in the past I've been a bit of an idiot, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Um, but ultimately that boils down to sort of a bit of character. You know, I'm frustrated with the fact that I'm... And, and, you, and, you, and you always showed it. Yes. Which, which is obviously given your opponent. Yeah, which is not good. I mean, I'm not so bad now, to be fair. That, that was a long time ago. Yeah. Um, do you know what I mean? A um, strike. That was a lovely you strike. You can't buy talent, can you? That it's, was a lovely it's strike. It's either there or it isn't. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, in the past I have been a bit silly, but... Oh, no, no. But hopefully now I'm past that. Can yeah. I, can I can I read, can I can I get on the table? Yeah, go on, just go on the table. Yeah. Like, this, um, this, well, you let me off for a touch, so we, we'll load ourselves one one. But I would say that as a player, I'm better than I've ever been. Really? Absolutely. Because I know more. Okay. And like, I really do feel if I can get back on and stop being an idiot. See, I I I don't want to know. I I don't want to know because I don't want things in my head about technical stuff. And I I, I preferred in the beginning when I knew less. <laughs> right, yeah, I understand. Yeah, absolutely. And I think there is a line there, but I think you've got to know what you do. Yeah. So you can re replicate, re like, replicate what you're doing. You've got yes. to, because if you're just doing it on instinct, which is, I mean, I, for the first 10 years of my career, I was playing on instinct, right? Yeah. And, um, and although it's all right, when, when it's going wrong, you don't know what to do, do you? So I think you've got to have a knowledge of what's happening, how you play, how your cue action works, like that. Yeah. So, and then you can sort of find those, find, yeah. find that form easier rather yeah. than just hoping it works. Yeah, but I, I, I just, I, I, I sometimes think, would I have been all right without, without, I mean, my first coach, Frank Callan. Yeah. It's quite was, technique. Was, I didn't, I didn't think my long game was good enough to compete with the likes of Steve and everything. Um, I, I could pop balls, obviously, but consistently rely on a long game so that he he brought the pause into the beginning because i never had a pause yeah when i first started so he brought the pause at the backswing but i don't know whether because my my thing at the end of my career was deceleration well we, it's which which, which i call yips which i call yips but it, i mean it's, it's a harsh word but i mean it's it's just deceling all the time not going through the cue ball and it's and it's and i still have it now and it's and it's horrible and i don't know whether that came from maybe you got an opinion from the pause right well if you think about it Everybody's got a pause, haven't they? I should just keep going backwards. <laughs> well, yeah. So, so you've got to, it's the turnaround. You've got to go out a consistent pause. So when I hit the ball, yeah. I wait there and then I hit it when I'm ready, right? Yeah. 
but I'm not thinking about pausing. Right. I've created a concept. I'm going to develop the pink here as well. See, right. No, I'm not. I missed it. I've played the double. Uh, yeah, I think you're getting too wrapped up in, I think people are getting too wrapped up in, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. For me, it's all about repeatability. Yeah. You've got to repeat something. Yeah. So you've got to find something that you're comfortable you can repeat. Right. But when you look at your videos, you know, when you was, when you was just bashing everybody up. Right, so right yeah. You, you could see you weren't thinking about anything, you were playing the game. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So by trying to change stuff to try and get better, you've actually took away, haven't you? Yeah. Which is not, for me, that's, that's yeah. what, you got him in the circle, you, were, you was in the circle of death. <laughs> so what, what you did, you know, you said you yipped, right? Yeah. Yips, well, you, you made a max that year at the Crucible, didn't you? Uh, yeah, well, bingham, but as I always say, I, I think 36 shots, I hit about five or six the way I wanted well, to Well, welcome to my world. <laughs> right, so, so, you know, I've, I've, I've come out matches, though, and people who played well there, I thought, well, I didn't hit one right. Yeah. But you know that as a player, don't you? That yeah. feel. But I think that's another example. The feel is so important. Yeah. You've got this game is feel. It's not, it's not straight lines or just, yeah. you know, robotic queuing. Yeah, because I, I wouldn't have minded losing matches um, at the end of my career if I felt I was hitting the ball all right. Yeah. It was, the, the, the hitting the ball the way I was hitting just crucified me. Well, yeah, it's the underperforming, isn't it? Yeah. It's just sort of, it's horrible. But um, I think, but yeah, I think I'm trying, I think if you, you've got to have that base knowledge, I think. Well, look yeah. at Ronnie, he's like a massive snooker geek. Yeah. He knows everything. Yeah. If you know what to look for, you can see he's like a robot. Yeah. You know. He's, he's a sponge, he takes, it, takes things in from everyone. Absolutely. And what he's done, he's, what he's amazing at, is just disregarding the stuff that he's not interested in and then trusting what he believes in and then he yeah. just goes out there and plays. Yeah. Which is a talent in itself. But ultimately, that's why he can play for so long. For, he's played for so long because he knows everything about his game, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, you know. So I think it you, is a line. I think that's where the next level might come from. Right. Pe players will be more aware of what they do and how they do it. I can disregard the myths. Oh, that was horrible. Like you said there about decelerating. Yeah. Right? So I hear that term a lot. Uh, well, it's just standard, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> it's all right, if I haven't won the last frame, you're in trouble. I don't know what that was, only counting. <laughs> um, <clears throat> if, like, you don't miss balls, I don't think, because you decel, do you? Um, yeah. Go well on then, tell me how. Unless you're using loads aside. Well, it's if, well, say that black now, I'm trying to hold for something. I'm, you always miss it thin with a D-cell. But how will the D-cell make you miss? Because if you, unless you're using loads aside, because then it will throw. But if you're using like a trace or middle, right? Trace is what you're looking for here, obviously. So, uh, so trace are right. Uh, well, I mean, you want to play it playing ball, but I think it's pretty much impossible. You've got to trace it right. There you go, trace it right. Yeah. Perfect. So, oh, that's a joke. Yeah, absolutely. That's amazing. You use that as white. They use the white with uh, the dots on. You see it moving. Today. Right. If you're using side, then D-cell will make you miss. Yeah. But most of the shots aren't. They're either very close to the middle, aren't they? Basically. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the thing. That's the thing that um, Stephen Feeney has got. It's like the side is like a bolt lines off the side, and if you hit it right, that's it. Yeah. It'll that's go all you need. That's all you need. Anyway, go straight. Yeah. yeah. So, so you're trying to. You, you can play the old game, play for hours and not use side, but you'll use a trace nearly every time. Yeah, well, I've always said that, hardly any of the players well, I've ever known. Middle. No. Don't exist? No. I had a conversation with me very early on in my career about that. With me? Yeah. I bet that lasted long. Yeah, absolutely, well, it was. Did I, did I just go off in the distance after? Yeah, yeah, well, when I got your attention, part talking about the middle, <laughs> I said, does the middle of the wide exist? You went, no. I said, I didn't think so. <laughs> uh, that was the same thing, it was at the World Championship, probably 2000, how had I gone for that? This is where you've gone negative. That's what it is. No, but so, <laughs> I don't think that went actually. I tried, I was just hoping it went. No, the, um, I had a, an experience really early in my career. First, one of the first times at the Crucible. I was practicing, practicing straight blues, funny enough, when I, I didn't realize they were pointless. Right. So, and I've got, you you're, came com you're completely t taking apart everything that's been Absolutely. like, sitting in the game for years. Absolutely. Long blues, we say in commentary, oh, the pros practice these yeah. all the time. How many times did you play a long straight blue in a match? I suppose it's the only time if you, if you don't get positioned in the pink or black. Uh, yeah. And here, it's the only time, I suppose. How many times do you play high black? Millions. Practice them then. If well, you never missed a high black, ever, right? Yeah. You'd be hard to beat, wouldn't you? you surely you get satisfaction from being able to... If you're putting... Say, I mean, I used to set up blues and, and try and put them all, like 22 yeah. in a row. Yeah, well, yeah. And, and you get, you get um, sort of satisfaction knowing that you're queuing well, surely. Absolutely. I mean, not saying disregard completely, mm. but, you know, you, you spend... Spend your time on stuff that's going to benefit you the most. Oh, I, I admit, I mean, the most important thing to practice on is cue ball control. Yeah. 
That is, that is it. The cue ball control is what the game's all about. And putting that high black and getting on the next red is really important. Yeah. And so I think that's what people should focus on more. Do you, do you coach any pros? Or is, no. it, or is it just begin, beginners and amateurs? Amateurs. I'm, Have you had approaches? No, no, no. I don't want to think about it really. No. I think, I'm, I don't know whether that's because I'm still playing. Right. And uh, I still might be better than them. <laughs> so, <laughs> he might do the editing. So, <laughs> so I don't know what that's good. I mean, if I said, right, I'm not playing again ever, yeah. maybe, maybe that uh, might change, but we'll, we'll find out. But like I say, in my heart at the minute, I'm still a player. I still feel like I can recreate the level that I need to, to sort of do well. Until I can stop. See, practice cue ball control. Correct, yeah. Well, I like no, these. No man's like land, these. we call that in commentary. No man's land. Here we go. He's missing him over the old one. He's giving me a right. So, right. Like, so obviously, I mean, you, you've translated your coaching. You've got, you, you've got a YouTube channel. I have, All yeah. to coaching. I'm coming for you. <laughs> um, well, it's I obviously like not on cue ball black. control. What we told you about high blacks, the way you should be good at them, look. No, no good. No. So how, how long have you been doing your, your channel? Uh, it's probably about a year. Uh, it's going okay. It's yeah. not reached your numbers yet. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm after you. Like I say, it's going all right. It's good. Um, it's, it's it's going okay. I, you know, I think I feel like I'm sort of getting the message out there. Yeah. And, uh, it's, and what sort of things are pure, like just purely co coaching stuff? Yeah, I'm trying to do a few little interviews. Funnily enough, right. Um, but that obviously I've got someone involved, Alex from Time Creative. So he's, he's sort yeah. of doing doing me uh, videos when I do me interviews. We did one with Stuart Bingham the other day. Right. I'm going to post that soon. But most of the time, it's just me and my iPhone um, in here. Right. And it, it seems to work. I'm doing my best, you know, yeah. with it. And I, like I can say the message is, you know, there's loads of content out there. Yeah. You know, that, that, that's just that talking about is. stuff that, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's talking about, that's yours. Yeah. Right. Talking about stuff that's just nonsense, really. Yeah. You know, like people drawing on the floor. <laughs> and like, can't you just stand like that? I mean, what I are know. you doing? I know. And I see, I see you, go, you go to tables and practice rooms and you'll see chalk marks. Yeah, where yeah. people press like, like the same one every same day. One. So in the frame of snooker, do you play, get the same long nah, ball every time? Nah, I mean, nah, it's ridiculous. Nah, 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 nah. And some of these practice routines, the way the reds are. Yeah. Because my practice was always just to line up and, pra and try and clear it 10 in a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so if you do that, that, it's good. It's good. So if you do that and you get your first match you play, someone leaves you in, what do you do? You clear up because you've been yeah. doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All day. Well, you, and you, that was my you, your mindset you were you were an animal weren't you like you was like you could say you was quite an aggressive attitude that's what it came yeah. across as do you know what I mean you wanted to sort of kill didn't you um no no get in no no good see he looks gone isn't he? that's what it is um, that's good cannon yeah it's good very good uh, thank you um i think he was quite an aggressive uh what's right in it yeah uh, in your attitude which which suited you but i think with that mindset stuff yeah because obviously it's something i've thought about quite a lot because it's something that obviously down the years, you could argue that I failed at. Um, I think you look at your, you, like Mark Williams. Yeah. He's an animal as well. But he, his personality, he likes to make out, he doesn't care. Yeah. So he's, he's found what works for him. Yeah. Some, if he tried to be all aggressive, it might not work for him. Yeah. But for you, it got you going, didn't it? Is there any, any players, top players that you look at and think I could help him, technically? Well, by the looks of this, I could give you a few hours if you like to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like say, say, I mean, uh, we're not really picking anyone, but say the obvious that, that for technique-wise, we look at Judd Trump, the way he, the way he aims up and comes yes, right across. Yes, yes, yes. Do you, I mean, do you think you could? I, I, well, you would never change that. That's what I mean. You can't, can no, you? No, no, no. If, if, I mean, if, if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. Yeah. Uh, and, and he is, I mean, that's what I mean. With some of these coaching you see online and all that yeah. if, if, if some of the top players like Mark Allen yeah. uh, Judd Trump they wore a fake nose yeah. and they went to see him say, oh, I'm really struggling mate yeah. and they go oh well, you can't hold the cue like that yeah. you know it's like Mark, Mark Allen nobody talks about his cue action right right but and they say oh, we no, nobody ever says I'd like to cue like that yes you would it repeats amazing yeah. you would like to cue like that yeah. and, it, and more importantly it repeats under pressure yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the dream yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a pretty cue action. Yeah, something. It's just. Because I always remember Frank Callan. All his players, you could yeah. recognise yeah, the yeah. players that he coached because yeah, it yeah, was yeah. like the long, yeah. the long waggles. Like Anthony, yeah. Anthony Hamilton, obviously, he's yes. like the, the archetypal Frank Callan player. Yes. You never get luck. Yeah, yeah. I always thought. See, I bit twigs in between. <laughs> um, no, I think that is. I think we need to move away a little bit from that because you've got to again. It's all about repeatability. Because if you if you boil the cue action down. It's just the tip moving backwards and forwards about that much. Yeah. So if you can create a backwards and forwards movement yeah. uh, that's comfortable yeah. and you can repeat, and then it's all about aiming it in the right direction. Right, okay. And that's it. If you yeah. think about it, it doesn't matter what it looks like. Yeah. 
Could, do, do you watch if you watch snooker on TV now? You, so can you just watch it for like, what, like enjoy it, or do you are you looking for all sorts of wow things? I, 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 I nickel bit, you know. I don't. I'm not again. I'm not really pushing the technique thing. Yeah. But I think what I'm what I'm most impressed with, like I said before, like players like you, I'm just I'm just amazed that you can feel comfortable out there. Yeah. Like, did you sometimes play in like the big world final and actually feel comfortable? I, I, I always said in my dressing room before going out to the world final, I thought yeah. I was going to be sick. Yeah. I felt nauseous. But, it's, but looking back now, that's when I play my best. Because yeah. as soon as I got out there, that was it. I was com- comfortable. Yeah. I get the impression when I look at, I'm like, fascinated by players. Like, yeah. like, it was the same when I done the mass Singer as well. All oh, right, okay. Before, before I went out, when I was in, in, in the, the bin costume, yeah. did you see my wonderful, I, I didn't wonderful... See it, um, I'm, I'm you sure, didn't see I'm sure it? it's on YouTube. Well, yeah, yeah, go and check it out. Yeah, I will. I knocked out <laughs> Lulu, by the way, in the first round. Did you really? When she but, um, sing? But it was exactly the same. Before I was going out, I was absolutely myself and thought I was going to be sick. Really? And then when I got out on set, like, I was just like, yeah. I'll he was all right. Just do it, That's yeah. just a personality yeah, yeah. trait. That's so lucky. I know. I, I, was, I don't know where it comes so from. so bitter. But <laughs> so, but, no, yeah, but again, when I'm watching the players, I'm just obsessed with what the how they're comfortable. They're feeling. Uh, it's like, yeah, because obviously I'm the not quite. Yeah, if I could feel comfortable, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd have a crack at all of you. Bring it on. <laughs> I genuinely feel like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Genuinely, yeah, yeah. Gen- you know, and it's not. I've never been worried about mobility. But that's the yeah. But that's that's obviously a top sport. That's a difficult part, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely, it's, it's everything. It's absolutely. a pleasure to watch. Thank you very you're much. Thank so, you. You're a some player. I hope they go out to meet your team. Get on tour. That was very impressive. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>